How's it going today guys? Castillo Trading coming to you with another NPOC and daily POC update video. It is Wednesday as part of our video series at Trade with Castillo. We want to go over NPOC levels. We want to go over any updates, any setups that we have invalidated, anything that we're looking at going forward into the rest of the week, things that we're looking at on the previous week, and then also some NPOC that are previously in play as of right now. Again, we like to just go over BTC and Ethereum on this, just going over the majors, just going over what is exactly kind of going on but let's just kind of jump into some of the stuff that we're watching when it comes to BTC and NPOC levels now nothing has really changed the only thing that we have kind of talked about earlier in the telegram is that we do have this NPOC print here at 46780 that is what I am looking for to get targeted today I think that we hit this level and at the same time I sent you guys a message saying that we do likely see a retest of that we also kind of talked about the very obvious support level that BTC was currently at you know we did have a break above upper limit on this current range and then we currently did a great retest of that yesterday and this morning as well we are seeing a little bit of a bounce across the board just as we anticipate that approval of the ETF heading into later today it should be around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time which is around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time you know please if you guys need to know the times Universal whatever you're on just Google it I got a lot of questions and it's just like just use simple Google to figure out what time 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is for you but going over the set you know we still are going to create our setups we're still just going to go over the normal trading style and the normal trading techniques that we do for BTC there's not really much else other than this new print up here and really there's not much to really do based off that you know as far as longing goes we'll have to wait for where the print is today normally if it prints right around here that'll be about 41212 which then we can maybe look for a retest of that before higher but that has not happened yet so we're not really planning for it all that we are looking for is a retest of 46780 which was yesterday's NPOC print giving us that short-term directional bias of up guys that's what I talk about when these prints happen on the daily you know what gives us that short-term directional bias does it always get hit the next day no sometimes it could take a few days but again it's just giving us that bias that we need to be a short-term time frame trader it does really help out a lot too when you are trading altcoins you know if you know that the short-term directional bias of Bitcoin is up which it has been today then you can look to be longing some altcoins which again we were doing this morning we longed GMX base off of Castillo AI trading it already hit take profit one we locked in profits I'm going to be looking to hit take profit two, locking in some more and then moving that stop loss to entry and then seeing if we can kind of capitalize on the higher targets going forward but heading into Ethereum as well we do have a little bit of a decent situation on Ethereum that can offer a really good dip buy we did get a print at 2268 on Ethereum now do we get a retest of that I'm not sure I would love a retest of it to kind of add to my longs but also I am positioned well enough to go higher and retest this 2690 area so going to just go over this again pretty quickly not going to harp too much on these setups just because I think a lot does have to do with the ETF approval but again just kind of trying to organize some of this we do have some support based on this lower limit here we've kind of talked about this blue box you know if we do drop to that that is going to be a support level and we're going to be looking to long that area but again I think we are kind of just getting into that area especially on Ethereum where ETH is still undervalued we've talked talked about the high term time frames the percentages that Bitcoin has ran the percentages that Ethereum has ran and I still think that it just has a lot of room to run that is why the main focus has been Ethereum has been altcoins for me going into 2024 but this is really the next long entry for us if you don't have any longs and again this is just based off of NPOC levels purely um, you can kind of go to the low term time frames and find some entries yesterday when the fake news hit or whatever there was a lot of emotional trading going on you know even for myself with LDO with Ethereum you know I ended up closing everything out made some okay profits after taking some losses and then jumping back in and regaining some of those losses it was just kind of a crazy day but today you know after realizing everything that was going on and after you know kind of closing out my ethereum longs I came to the conclusion that there was really no point that was emotional trading ended up jumping back into ethereum long this morning and doing really really well on that entry actually I jumped into it last night and then added some longs into it today this morning so still doing really well on that position and still Still looking to continue to hold that into the ETF approval today hopefully the ETF approval today but that is the update for today guys purely on NPOC and daily POC levels if you guys have any questions please don't be afraid to reach out and I'll see you over in the telegram peace